So 
proportion is directly proportional to acceleration. So if force is increased, your acceleration will also increase. And when is that possible? When I'm keeping, I'm talking about the same object, okay? The same object, we have extra force, force, force. So how will the graph look? When one is increasing, other is also increasing, it will appear as a straight line. So force increasing, acceleration also increasing. Force increasing, acceleration can be increased. So this is the graph for force is directly proportional to acceleration. And then for this particular thing, mass is what? M is constant. What does constant mean in this case? I am talking about the same object. Same object by a force bada te jara, or kusi object by a force bada te jara, so acceleration kya hoga? Bada te jara bada. Ab now, we will take another case. Now let's say instead of, instead of, mass constant, I keep changing the mass. Mai kya kar rahi ho? Mass change for the chicken. So mass change for the So then a smaller object. One one force that on the smaller object. It moves this much. Okay. Now the same force I will apply on her. If I apply same force on her. She hardly moves, okay? And if I apply same force instead of this, I apply on this, it moves. But what I'm seeing is, depending upon the mass, depending upon the mass, I see the effect. More is the mass, less is the effect, okay? So how will this graph look? Now, what, what am I making constant in this? Force is constant. So, if I'm talking acceleration is equal to F of Acceleration is equal to 1 upon m because it will go here. So, how will it look? Not actually equal to it is directly proportional to. Is it directly proportional to or inversely proportional to? Inversely. In this case, Inversely. this is a denominator, right? So, these two, when mass is increasing, increasing, acceleration is increasing, right? But when I was trying to move her with the same force, the motion was less, lesser was the acceleration. So as mass increases, acceleration decreases. So they are inversely related. So I have written force for mass for acceleration. Yes, of course. So what did I say for this particular case? So what she said, let me just write this part over here. Okay, this is the main relation that we get. We have got this relation using this thing. For this case, now for this case, how did I put directly proportional for this? So this is F is equal to M A. Okay? So F is equal to M is constant, right? So how will this look over here? Here F is equal to M A. So you rearrangement here. rearrangement It becomes F upon M is equal to A. But again, here I have is it now Newton ka force apply kar rahe ho? 1 Newton, ah sorry, 10 Newton, whatever. If 10 Newton force, here also I apply 10 Newton force, here also I apply 10 Newton force and I check the acceleration due to the same amount of force. So what am I keeping constant? This force is constant in this particular graph. So how will the graph look? This graph is important. Now just imagine if this was 1, uh, one kg, then this will be 1 upon 1. Let's say kuch yaha pe aja ta. Ab agar mass badka 2 kg ho gaya. So ye 1 by 2 ho jayega. So half of this yaha pe aja ta. Chik ya? Now this is, what is this part? This is acceleration part. So 1 upon 1. So 1 kg ke liye 1 upon 1. Ye point ta. For mass abhi kya ho gaya? Half ho gaya ta 1 by 2. So yaha pe aja ta. Now mass 3, mass 4. Mass becomes 10. So, here it will be 1 upon 10. So, this becomes 0 upon 0 1. So, we will always divide, 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 divide. It will be less, 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 less. So, the graph will look like this. It is not going up. It is going niche, 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 niche. So, this is how the graph looks for acceleration is inversely proportional to 1 by 
ठीक है और द लास्ट ग्राफ दैट इज आपके सामने देखिए फर्स्ट में वन इज टू कांस्टेंट लास्ट इज कांस्टेंट इन सेकंड में व्हाट आर यू कैप्ट फोर फोर्स इज कांस्टेंट ठीक है करें In last one, what will be constant? Acceleration will be constant. So in this graph, there will be relation between F and L. So I can clearly see. That is, mass is increasing. Because mass increases of acceleration constant. So acceleration means that one meter per second square constant. So one kg के लिए वाटर का force required one into one meter per second square. For two kg mass, what is the value? Two newton. For three, three into one that becomes three newton. So as and when your mass is increasing, your force is also what increasing. So your graph will look like this. As mass is increasing, on this side force is increasing. Provided in this case acceleration is equal to force. सकते हैं फोर्स इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू फाइनल मोमेंटम माइनस 
initial momentum of what type, right? Yes, coming to Danya for this question because last time she had a very important topic with respect to linear momentum. So this linear momentum, I know it is very difficult to uh, clear that part for you, but at least can you tell me what is momentum, linear momentum basically means. Sorry, the formula for linear mass into velocity. So it is given by mass into velocity of that object. Are you planning to hear? Just three drops of coffee. It's not. Next question will come to you. You will have to let me assign it and see if this will come first. And please check if there is some uh, part which is removed, like most of the pages, which part is removed, that part is removed. Uh, so uh, the chapter is Nothing is there or nothing? Nothing is omitted. And in first step, any omissions? Yes, and everybody the first year and then in the class video. And you can explain it in Hindi also, it's fine. For I want understanding quite most. So you just need to explain the thing, what the students class is. Can I erase it? Yes, <clears throat> Just imagine this how important this relation is. Force is directly proportional to change in momentum upon time. Now, if a huge ball is coming now, you normally ball also. When they take the okay, it comes with huge speed, right? Yeah, yes. It comes with speed, and instead of catching up with the heart, it's the flow. And this is I don't so, the 
so we try to slowly apply force to take longer period of time and then piche piche jara that means what it is taking more time theek hai so the same thing let's say it is within your hand at this time so initial kitna tha 0.5 kg meter per second final kitna tha 0 theek hai but the difference is yahan pe time kitna liya tha t was 0.1 second and yahan pe if it is if it takes time how much seconds do i take to solve it let's say 2 seconds we are so time taken is 2 seconds so what we are see over here is when i am increasing the time taken what happens to my force force is how much minus 0.25 newton i can see that when i increase the time i have to apply lesser force to stop it when i try to do it in very short amount of time i have to apply very high amount of force theek okay? hai and whenever we are trying to stop a very fast moving object it is very ideal to increase the time of contact by increasing the time of contact basically what are you trying to do you are trying to your hand bike uh, and you are trying to save your hand also taki jab aapka hand pe jab wo gire to wo khali itna force ki लगी उसको स्टॉप करने के लिए आपका हाथ भी बच जाए ठीक है बाय डूइंग दैट इट इज टेकिंग लॉट स्मॉलर अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम ठीक है नाउ टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग व्हाई इट्स इज द थर्ड लॉ इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थर्ड लॉ ऑफ मोशन न्यूटन्स न्यूटन्स थर्ड लॉ ऑफ मोशन एज वी एक्शन हैज एन इक्वल एंड ऑपोजिट रिएक्शन यस Before I come to that question, can somebody tell me what the minus sign is? Why? Because our uh, momentum is huh? uh, equal to minus sign. Ah, so the work is being done. Come on, it's actually a force. Which yeah. direction you apply? Correct. Which direction? Right. Or if you have to slow down, or if you stop, or if you have to which direction you force apply? Opposite direction. That is why this force is the force. Applied by you to stop the ball. Ball was coming in this direction. You are applying force in opposite direction to stop it. All right. That is why this negative direction, negative sign is coming here. But still, I have a doubt in me. Ah, uh, I know. I am not because completely finished with the part. We have to discuss the part impact for more, which you will understand. Uh, I will try my best to make you understand that. All right. So now the Newton's third law of motion. It says, like she is saying, every action, every action has equal reaction. Now, please bear the mess over here because I need to. Ah, uh, it's the same thing. I need to use the reference point for my initial question. Okay. Yes, correct. Yeah. So every action has equal and opposite reaction. का मतलब क्या है? इसका मतलब ये है that like uh, if we if I remember that day uh, when we explained the example with uh, if you put a for example you throw a ball mm -hmm. on the ground and bounces up. Gravity. Gravity, but it bounces up. Yes. Any force, any force bounces up due to the reaction. And the Newton's third law, which is what she is trying to tell. That now every action, action का मतलब है और नीचे आपको फिर से बोलना है इसका मतलब बोल रहा है इसको बिल्कुल कम दाई हाई नहीं करनी है नहीं मैं बोल रहा हूँ हाँ मैं इसलिए बोल रहा हूँ वो तो कम हो जाए प्रॉपर्ली ना जस्ट इमेजिन दिस इज़ व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू द गन वाला थिंग आई एम ट्राइंग टू शूट समथिंग ठीक है � Shoot off with a very high velocity, right? ठीक है. What this law says? What this law says that gun में जितना force apply किया bullet को, of course आप हाथ से bullet देखो तो इतनी speed थोड़ी ना जाती है वरना gun भी lose करो, right? तो gun basically बहुत ज़्यादा force apply करता है वरना इतनी ये तो अपनी machine का नहीं देखो और सारी forces and shoot off the bullet. So it is applying very high force. ठीक है. That force जो बुलेट पे अप्लाई किया गन में 
pull it once the return force of that is because what does this law says according to newton's theory of motion every action what is the action over here action is the force applied by the gun on the bullet ठीक है so gun is applying some force on the bullet because of it bullet moves again ab this is the action part but newton's theory of say that for every action there is equal and opposite reaction that means if this gun is applying 10 newton of force on the bullet in this direction bullet will apply 10 newton of force on this gun but in which direction opposite, opposite direction so let me draw it properly instead of showing this bullet pe 10 newton ka force hai sir 10 newton force on bullet in forward direction then reaction force on the gun kitna hoga force 10 newton theek hai but what is the difference abhi aap ne sir se koi pucha oh yahan pe bhi 10 newton ke force se ye itni speed se jata to gun jo piche ki taraf pass karne mein aa raha hai gun is heavier compared to the bullet that is why the same force has to move this at a higher speed but the same force has different effect on the gun ठीक है तो क्या हो जाता है आपकी गन आगे से आप बुलेट कम भी रखते हैं गन भी पीछे जाती है बट बुलेट की स्पीड से नहीं होना आप क्या जी बहुत कम स्पीड से तो पीछे की तरफ आती है एंड वी कॉल दैट फोर्स दैट गन पीछे की तरफ आती है वी कॉल इट एज नो वी कॉल इट दैट रिकॉइलिंग वेलोसिटी सो इफ समबडी सेस दो द मोस्ट इजीएस्ट एंड द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग लॉ Newton's third law of motion is very easy, right? It's very easy, right? Every action has equal and opposite reaction. ठीक है? But if ये वाला नहीं कि आपने थप्पड़ मारा तो आप किसी और को रिटर्न में थप्पड़ मारता है न्यूज़ आ रहा है ये एक्शन है इक्वल एंड ऑपोजिट है। No, no, it's not. But physics wise, physics wise, law of motion. हाँ, physics wise, you don't have to return slap it. But if you are slapping somebody by ten newton, the face is also applying ten newton of force on your hand. ठीक है? इसलिए आपको भी किसी को मारता तो आपका हाथ भी red हो जा� yeah so but not greater than <laughs> so yes so this is the newton's third law example one example you are this is ejecting outward with 10 newton force correct right? there is return same force same force okay same force ठीक है same amount of force but in opposite direction ठीक है and on the other body ठीक है bullet pe bhi return 10 newton ka force ja raha hai to aap hamesha problem kya hota hai action ek body pe hai और रिएक्शन दूसरी बॉडी पे एक्शन रिएक्शन एक ही बॉडी पे ही अगर मैं क्या बताएं 10 न्यूटन 10 न्यूटन कैंसिल हो जाता है बुलेट आती है यहीं पे लटकती रहती है पता ना इस फोर्स में बैलेंस फोर्सेस किया है सो दिस इज ओनली फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन 10 न्यूटन बैकवर्ड जो फोर्स अप्लाई हुआ दैट इज ऑन द गन ठीक है और दिस सेम थिंग यू विल ऑब्जर्व टू एवरीथिंग इन दिस टू व्हाई डू यू से दैट व्हेन यू आर टेकिंग टाइम व्हेन यू आर जब आपने ज़्यादा समय दिया स्टॉप करने के लिए तो आपने कितना फोर्स अप्लाई किया 0.25 पॉइंट so, जब आपने ज़्यादा समय लिया तो आपने कम फोर्स अप्लाई करके स्टॉप किया तो जब आप कम फोर्स अप्लाई कर रहे हैं उससे स्टॉप करने के लिए तो बॉल भी आपके हाथ में कम फोर्स लगा है इससे आपको कम बर्फ होता है जब आप ज्यादा यहाँ पर ये सिनारे बोल बट आप ये वाला केस से करोगे तो हम रुकाने की कोशिश करोगे तो आप बॉल को रुकाने के लिए कितना फोर्स अप्लाई कर रहे हैं 50 न्यूटन ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ फोर्स दिस दिस आई डू सेट मोर देन द प्रीवियस वन एंड व्हेन यू आर अप्लाइंग मोर फोर्स टू स्टॉप द बॉल बिकॉज़ ऑफ एक्शन एंड रिएक्शन बॉल विल आल्सो अप्लाई फोर्स ऑन योर हैंड राइट सिंस इन दिस केस मोर इज द फोर्स दैट यू अप्लाई मोर इज द फोर्स दैट बॉल विल आल्सो अप्लाई एंड लाइक शी सेड फ्रैक्चर भी हो जाएगा ठीक है सो दिस इज हाउ इट गोस this is the part which i want to tell you the most interesting one for law can somebody think of some other examples apart from this bullet gun thing kuch aa raha hai right ah so she was saying so she was saying the ball on the ground ball on the ground is the thing and anything on the surface of the earth aap khud hi khade ho what are you doing you are applying some force right But on whom are you applying the force? On the earth. Okay. So you are applying some 10 newton force on the earth. Okay. 
Now, uh, I'm sorry. Now, I have some question. Okay. So, what is action and reaction? If the body applies some force on any object, that person will also apply equal amount of force. Okay. Now, if I am giving you a question, again, what have to give you some example like today? Okay. What did you take class class? Elephant then?
So you apply force. Let me draw properly. So you apply force. This is action on the ground, and as a reaction, your feet get slipped. I draw this one as well. So this is walking part. You are able to walk because of action and reaction. You apply force. Piche ki taraf. And as a reaction, our tail tail lift up, father, and friction plays a huge role in this. So the action that you are taking, there was no friction. We won't be able to like move. We will not be able to walk. Walk, sir, we will not be able to walk. Not only walking, not be able to move, right? Because we will be too small. Because the friction is less. The friction is. Thing is that if you are given some velocity, you keep on moving. Then you get seen first. Yeah, yeah, we won't be able to stop. We won't be able ah, to walk like, also. We won't. Yeah, we won't be able to maintain. Uh, the reason speed. being, if you try to do this, if you apply force backward, since there is no friction, you have to turn back to the side. You have to turn back to the side. If there is no friction, mm -hmm. and she say, forget walking. You will not be able to. And that back to the side, that car will be up. Yes. Right. So now, what is the relationship between one? Newton is one ground centimeter. 
So please remember, I did not ask you a relation between one newton and eight newton per second. I just asked you what is one newton equal to from your life. So one newton is how many temperature right now? And if I ask you, one newton is equal to how much kg meter per second square? Then how much is it? Kg meter per second square. What are all these? All these are SI units. Yes. And SI unit is the short form of this whole SI unit is what? A newton. So one newton will be nothing but one kg meter per. So why are you thinking so? No, I'm asking. You said one word. At least we are one person. Now look at this. Now in terms of CGS, if I'm putting everything in terms of CGS, gram centimeter per second square. And if the question is asked, one time for the how much gram per thousand? Why thousand? Why are we? अच्छा why nine? Oh, nine and अच्छा nine. So nine is अभी अगर नहीं बोल रहा तो हम लोग क्या? इन ग्राम सेंटीमीटर पर सेकंड. I didn't see the nine part. I saw the. What? I saw the ऊपर नीचे वाला part. Is it the last class? Yes, yes. Now please take one question. A cricket ball. A cricket ball. Okay. Please go to page forty-seven. Yes. Yes, volume page forty-seven. Question: If the cricket ball of mass hundred grams, how many can be hundred grams? Yes, ma'am. Cricket ball weighs hundred grams. So that question, please try to solve it. This is the same question that we have done. We have given cricket ball there because maybe it's some speed that we got to read. Forty-seven. Chapter, chapter, chapter. 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 Chapter, ch
साची तेरे पास कैसे है दो सौ मुझे बुक लेकर आ गया सही है इस घर में नहीं है इसमें किसी को नहीं पता